As a Blender artist, you know how essential add-ons can be, to streamline your workflow and unlock new possibilities in Blender. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced user, we've curated a list of the best add-ons that will supercharge your Blender experience. From vehicle rigging tools to city generator enhancements, we've got you covered. This add-on will allow you to quickly rig your vehicle and get it ready to physically simulate it. With the free pack, you'll get a solid car rig, controllers which you can use to control the vehicle and many more settings, but if you're looking for even more, the paid pack unlocks unlimited rigs, advanced presets, and a host of powerful features. Don't worry, the free pack still offers many great things for your projects, you're able to control the rotation, speed, and you're also able to guide your vehicle anywhere you like. And rigging custom vehicles isn't hard at all, you just need to select everything and press quick rig, and you got your vehicle rigged with physics already set up. And if that doesn't work for you, you can use its custom rig function which is still very fast and easy to set up. Overall, by using this add-on you can do all types of things you want with your vehicle, and amazingly, you're getting most of these things for free. So download this add-on and try it out for yourself from the link in the description. Abandoned City Generator is able to generate beautiful and quite realistic abandoned city. What sets this add-on apart is its impressive level of customization, you have full control over the size of the terrain, the distance between roads, and the shape of the buildings. You can even adjust the amount of trees, grass, and vines to create the perfect atmosphere, and not to mention that you have the freedom to scatter various objects, such as cars, streetlights, and antennas, to add that extra layer of detail. The default building, vegetation and cars are not that good but you can change them with your own assets to make the scene stand out even more. There are many details like these objects on the top of the buildings and many other. The generation of abandoned cities is distributed in three geometry nodes, one is for building, roads, and for the overall terrain and one is for the vine plants and vegetation and the other one is for other objects like cars and stuff like that. Even though it was created in Blender 3.2, you can still use this with the current version of Blender. The beauty of this model shines when you use this in cycles since it doesn't look that good in EV. Even though the creator has tried to make this as light as possible, it's still very computer intensive. You should totally give this one a try since this is such a beautiful and advanced pack. Dust Particle Plus is in another beautiful add-in created by Creative Shrimp, a great YouTube channel for Blender artists. Dust Particle allows you to add Dust Particle in your scene very easily. It has a lot of customization which can take your scene to whole another level. And not to mention that all the Dust Particle are procedurally animated, which means you can also customize the animation of the movement. You can choose your own particle which you want to use as particle, like you can change it with flies or something like that, or if you want to use the default dust particle, it also comes with a lot of customization which you can choose to get the best dust particle you want. In the free version, you will be getting most of things which paid version have to offer, but there are some things which you won't be getting for free, like moths, animated sprites, looping support and some other small things. But this will be more than enough for most of the people. In this add-on you can change color, size, animation, amount and many other things which makes it very flexible, and it can take your scenes to whole another level. You can check out the Creative Shrimps video for many more information. Having realistic wear and tear textures to your models can be quite a hassle, but with Grungit you can add realistic wear and tear with one click. Grungit was created by Abduboom, it is a very powerful add-on if you're into creating hyper-realistic scenes. This add-on is fully compatible with EV and as well as Cycles. To use this add-on you will need to first install it. And after installing you will be able to see this panel in N tab. It will first ask you to save the file and after saving the file, all you need to do is select your object and press apply and it will automatically apply the wear and tear texture without messing with the real texture of your object. But it won't be accurate every time so either you can change these options before applying the texture, or change the parameters after applying the textures, there are a lot of options which you can change to get the result you want. 
One of its best feature is that you can bake the texture with one click, and after baking you can export your model wherever you want. And even after using this, it won't affect render time much at all, and topology doesn't matter for this add-on as well. Overall it's quite a powerful add-on which you should definitely check out. Creating a beautiful landscape is a very hard thing to do, but with using Autoterrainer you will be able to convert any mesh into a beautiful landscape, whether you're using Cycles or EV it will look equally beautiful. But this add-on is quite computer intensive, but since it's made with Geometry Node, you can change anything you don't like. There are no output in modifier panel, so you would have to go to geometry node tab to change anything, but don't worry everything is very well made and named, so you won't have to wander around. And since it's instancing all the objects you can change objects with your own objects, which means you can change this whole landscape to desert or anything you want, possibility is endless. And as you can see that the textures are very detailed, and grass also looks great even though it's a billboard, but obviously you can change the grass if you like. To use this on your own mesh, select your mesh and go to Modifier tab and add Geometry Node Modifier, and then if you have opened the Autoterrainers.blend file, or if you have imported it, you would see the Terrain Geometry Node preset, after applying that, you should see that your mesh has turned into a landscape, and after that you can change whatever you want. It's a really powerful add-in which can immensely boost your workflow and make everything very easy without much work. And there you go, that's all I have for this video, I hope you find this informative and if you did, please subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. And not to mention that all of the link will be available in the video's description. We also have new discord server which you can join if you have any queries.